Today I'm finally going to be working on a project I've been doing a lot of this about and not doing anything about it and that's installing an electrical panel into the new cabinets that I had built a few months back. I'm going to be running a bunch of electronic stuff off of this Jackery Explorer 440 and that's what that control panel is going to be for because we built a shelf inside of this cabinet for that battery and up in the front here is where we're going to be installing a bunch of the switches for electronics. John that built my cabinets built these incredibly smart. He thought ahead. He thought about where I might put electronics down the line or where I might need access to getting into where the electronics and stuff were built. And I love that about the build is that, you know, it's not like I have to think about these things after the fact. He thought about them for me already and they were great ideas. Nice little panel right here. Great spot to put some electronic stuff, but here's where things get cool. If you see in there, there's a nice little pattern cut out. Well, that's actually an access point from this side. That's held in by four screws, allowing me to get access to installing electronics nice and easy instead of always having to work with my head curved around the corner trying to like reach everything. John, you are a smart man. On the bottom of that panel, I'm going to be installing a regular wall plug and I chose to do it in the colors of the van because everything in my van is kind of like white, gray, and black and I thought this might look great. All I'm gonna do is cut myself a little hole right here where it's already marked out and that is where the plug panel is gonna be going. Look at all this sawdust. <laughs> I got the hole cut here for the wall plug. It mounts in there nicely with a little bit of place so I can still get to the connection fittings. Um, now I want to measure out and I got some precise measuring tools, some paper and a felt marker. <laughs> I have these little 12 volt toggle switches and they light up blue so you know, I didn't like all the other ones that were like red. I figured that's too obnoxious. The blue is just kind of nice. So what I need to do now is to cut a hole that big so I can pop these in there. But before we start drilling holes, I want to measure out five evenly spaced plugs on this piece of paper. Yep, we're going real high tech. It's not exactly precise, but between this edge wall panel and there, five switches straight across. I'm thinking maybe I should spread them out a little bit more, but I don't know. I think those, I think that should work out pretty good. Nice and clean. going to do a dry fit of the plug just to make sure everything is all good before I start doing any of the wiring on the back. How I'm going to be fitting these in is I'm actually just going to be siliconing them into place. They fit in nicely right in the back but these aren't exactly long enough so I'm just going to run a bead of silicone on it and pop it in place and it all should be good. What do you guys think? Nice little control unit there. <laughs> yeah. Everything all in from behind. I think this is gonna work out pretty good. Except for the fact that I broke this already. Go figure, Chrome, <laughs> go figure. That's okay. I think I paid like $1.97 or something for this. But I cracked it. Old school. 
Because everything on this control panel is gonna be plugged into the Jackery battery, what I'm going to do for my regular wall plug is I got one of my DJ extension cords and I cut the cord and I'm gonna be wiring this side into the actual wall plug itself. Keeping things pretty simple and pretty basic and this is just gonna be plugged into the front of the Jackery. Power on, power off. Be feeding this end through some pre-drilled holes that are in the bottom of this cabinet. I need two hands here. I need to, I need to grab that. Somebody wanna grab that for me? There we go. Nice and easy, and this will be wrapped around the back and plugged into the front of the battery. Wiring up wall plugs is pretty simple. The first thing you need to do is make sure that nothing is plugged in or no power sources are turned on. And then you connect these to this. And if you don't know how to do that, look on a YouTube video and find out or call somebody who knows what they're doing. On this, you will find brass fittings on one side, silver fittings on the other, and then a green screw on the bottom. So. The black one goes to the brass, the white one goes to the silver, and the green one goes to the green one. Pretty simple. Of course, you wanna make sure that all these are super, super tight because anything loose is just gonna start a fire, but yeah, that's wired up and ready to go. Now that that's all secure, this is ready to go. I probably could have made it a little less long. <laughs> it's probably about a foot too long. It'll do though. Look, I cut myself, go figure. I'm not gonna go into the detail on this kind of stuff because I, I don't do techie things. <laughs> I learned doing this kind of stuff, I learned it, um, I used to install a lot of car stereos and stuff when I was younger. That's where this stuff kind of comes to me pretty easy. But when you do these things, please use proper connections, proper wire. Don't go out and use yourself like electrical tape and stuff like that. I mean, I'm no expert. I might be doing this wrong, but it seems right. So I'm doing it. <laughs> And like I always said, guys, if it feels right in your tummy, it's probably right. Taken the ground wire here and I've created a jumper connection so I can connect all the plugs together. At this point, I should have just bought one of those nice big square pre-wired <laughs> RV panels, but I didn't want to because they were like 50 bucks or 60 bucks Canadian, and I just thought this would be easier, and it, honestly, a pain in the butt. I should have just bought one. <laughs> Okay, let's see if we got this. This is a series of positive wires. I don't remember what goes where. Positive on the bottom. Out to the switch on the top. the switch on the top got power on the switch now this one is connected to the roof vent we are in business okay
one finished rocker switch. And now that all the connectors and stuff are on the inside, it actually fits incredibly tight in there. So I don't have to, oh, that, that's snug. I won't have to do anything at all to secure it. It's good to go just as it is. <laughs> yeah. Next thing I'm gonna run is this small little single puck light. It's left over from when I put the puck lights in the front of my van because I have, I have two of them right there and there. I put them up front here and I ran them off this switch. That way if I'm ever in the front seat of the van, I've got light that's not running off of my van battery. So I'm just gonna mount this one here just to give me some quick access light if I need light in around any of the cupboards at all. And maybe this light here will help me a little bit with uh, live stream ambiance. <laughs> I wish I had more of these, but I don't. So for now, I'm just gonna wire up the one. I would suggest if you guys are gonna run electrical, call somebody to do it. <laughs> Definitely a tedious process, and if you don't know what you're doing, it's best just to pay somebody else to do it. 